Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga. And no, you're not in the wrong place. It's just that I'm feeling, I'm down with cold today actually. Um, not feeling fine, but the streak has to go on. And let's see if I can pull this video as well off somehow. So I will not waste further time. Let's start with the game. I started this one uh, with e4, trying to maybe go for some different opening. I was actually willing to try a Ponziani opening, uh, which Eric was uh, covering up from last few uh, games. Now here my opponent responded with c5, so I couldn't go for that. So I tried to convert this to a London eventually by first placing my bishop here uh, on to c4 my opponent plays knight f6 uh, i go with d3 opponent plays e6 i develop the bishop on g5 pinning the knight opponent plays bishop e7 i went with f3 now just a typical pyramid uh, which is generally the other way around in the london uh, so yeah trying to replicate some thoughts from there as well my opponent went with d5, um, and here I give a check with the bishop. Uh, opponent goes back with the knight, and I took the dark bishop uh, for exchange. Opponent takes back with the queen, and I get my knight onto e2, preparing to castle. My opponent tries to kick the bishop away by playing a6. I took on the knight, opponent takes back with the knight. Uh, then I go with knight g3, preparing to castle. Opponent castles, I also castle. My opponent plays pawn forward to d4, uh, which allows me to play e5. e5 hangs the pawn though, uh, but my opponent doesn't take it here. My idea was maybe to uh, get the rook next up and then get to use the open file somehow for the attack uh, towards the king eventually. But my opponent plays uh, knight to b6. Here I went with knight d2. Opponent tries to acquire uh, e3 eventually. I went with knight c4, controlling the e3 square. Opponent tries to kick me from there. So I acquired knight d6. Uh, d6 is a knight square as well. Uh, would be tough for my opponent to develop the bishop. And uh, tough to remove my knight from here unless he wants to sack away the rook. Here my opponent comes with knight e3. I put my queen onto e2. Opponent takes on the rook. I take back. Now bishop d7 by opponent. And I played f4, trying to consolidate the center. Her bishop comes on to c6. Uh, it's developed nicely eventually. Uh, couldn't have developed it this way. So opponent went with uh, d7 and then c6. Uh, and then I went with queen g4 with the ideas of putting my knight onto h5 next. My open side steps with there. Oh, I had a move here. I had a move. Sacking my knight, uh, and if what if opponent has to take here, most likely opponent would have, and I can take back. And now my opponent is losing the queen or is getting checkmated. If opponent plays pawn forward, of course, lose the queen on the spot. So this could have been actually very nice. Uh, instead, in the game, I played knight h5. Of course, I didn't see that coming. Uh, opponent plays rook g8. I went with a passive move h3, trying to make sure that my king can go here, my rook can come on the g file as well eventually. Open plays a rook a to d8, trying to go for my knight hunt. I move my king to h2, open takes there, I take back, open takes back the queen. Uh, and now trying to centralize my uh, rook there. Open uh, plays the queen here. Uh, this is a nice battery, but it's not going to checkmate because queen defense so the queen was hitting on the pawn that's why a3 was played opponent plays pawn forward which i trade first and then i place my rook onto e5 which was the right move open goes back and here i place my rook on g5 hitting this pawn three times now uh, so open plays pawn forward here which was bad move open should have gone for f5 uh, trying to kick my queen maybe backwards but what this does is allows me to capture it and opponent cannot take back because that would be checkmate. Here my opponent plays queen to f7. I take on the rook. I had some, I took some time here as well. I was anyways down on time. I thought for some 
uh, uh, actually a minute maybe, thinking that if the sacrifice works. So if I take on the pawn, uh, and my opponent can take with the king, that's one way and that would lead to a checkmate. That was one strategy. But then second one was, if I take this and my opponent doesn't take it, like plays pawn forward, then what? Now I cannot get my knight back. If I try to defend it with queen, then I lose a piece. So I didn't find the right continuation from here, which was actually to place my rook onto c5. Very difficult to be spotted, I would say. Uh, rook c5 was not in my mind at all. So I didn't see this continuation. So I went with knight takes on the rook, trying to simplify stuff. Open takes back. And then I tried to attack from here, h4. Open plays bishop onto uh, d5. I went with h5, open plays h6. And then I went with uh, rook to e5. Maybe in future I thought of taking the bishop as well. Open plays queen f6. I went with g3, trying to solidify uh, the spawn chain. And then I blocked the open spawn. Open now goes back with the queen. King up on h3, uh, and then open tries to attack the pawn. Now here I had a choice to let it go, or I should continue with my attack, or I should defend this. In an ideal scenario, I would have defended the pawn, and I am in advantage of 3.8. But I was running behind on time, uh, so I went with queen g6, open takes on the pawn, and then I went in uh, eventually repeating the move so that it's a draw. Uh, when you're lagging behind on time, you should be willing to find a draw way out as well. Because yes, I could have gone for the win, but it was very highly impossible, close to impossible. Winning it from there because of time pressure, uh, time was very low. Uh, otherwise, it was an easy win from there. So eventually I found a draw. Uh, and eventually I have completed this video somehow and I am seriously not sure how it has been. I hope it was inter instructive. And before I fumble more or spoil this video further, I would like to wrap it up. So please do subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my hard to put up this uh, kind of, uh, in fact, better content as well on a daily basis. Today, I'm just not feeling fine. I hope that's okay because sometimes there are days like these. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.